that she's a person also. Then she's a character, she's whatever, but they love seeing the person behind. Well, last year in July 2010, we did a shoot with Natasha. It was the July cover, you can see it here. She looks amazing. We really loved her. Going for the first kind of meeting and then uh, never been in Madrid before, so it's really exciting for me. We started to think about doing a special issue with one model and the first name came was Natasha. I really hope that this one is going to be really something amazing and really special. Where are we? Like different sides of me. I could show my, all the different sides of myself. What uh, we are thinking is we have given them absolutely freedom not to do a fashion story. They're going to do Natasha by Ines Oh, that's amazing. amazing. Which it's, it's also it's, it's a shooting for you about you, but it's important that you tell them, listen, I had this thing. No, but with them it's, uh, it's like it's easy, right? Yeah. 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 She had so much ideas that it was amazing the energy yeah. she, she had. I love to do makeup. Yeah. I give a thought like, so I can be maybe a makeup artist myself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it would be great for the beauty section. Fantastic. So it, it took maybe like a uh, maybe half a year to actually to create the whole thing and start working on it. It ended up here in Madrid today. This is like the first meeting with all of them for the actual project to talk about all the ideas, what we have. I'm excited to see like the whole office of Vogue and just to meet everybody. Very nice to meet you here yeah. in Madrid again, Natasha. The beginning is now, so. I'm glad that that feature. Imagine Natasha. Yeah. Yeah. It's a funny mix, and it's like different kind of types of women. Yeah. Well, I would say she's the coolest model I I have seen. I I think. Um, I mean, I love really Bella. Love, love. Yeah. Oh, she's, she's, I love. She's she's amazing. Amazing. I think yeah, her. She's yeah, really yeah, she's great. Yeah. Let's do her. And it's uh, really good people. I love them so, <laughs> which is also like uh, make it really special and more like a family and more creativity. I think also involved in that when you work like as a team together. And and something new when you talk about all these ideas and they are all so new and so risky in a way, but so fresh, mm -hmm. makes me really like my job. Hola, España. My name is Natasha Poli and I'm inviting you to enjoy the November issue of Vox Spain. Stay tuned. <laughs>
long day, but the pictures look anywhere like super super cool. So I'm really happy. It's a wrap. No. Yeah, because for the face is perfect. It's yeah. perfect, yeah. And it's kind of natural, it's just like three colors. It's so, like, kind of 90s. Mm -hmm. And this kind of, like, clean sleep. And this kind of top as well. <laughs> Thanks for doing my hair. <laughs> Concept, I think, of the shooting that it's um, the strong black colors and the way I mean to use it is really cool in the cool different ways. Gloss, like really shiny lips, and now like a really strong like eyeliner, like really thick, really long, really like uh, rock and roll looking. To make like eyebrows. Very strong and darker than my own. to show a range of moods on Natasha because she's such an amazing subject and in order to sort of develop each character I think you need an icon you need to have some point of reference to, to build from I like 60s inspiration anyways like all the time yeah we're gonna see what I'm gonna wear now so I think it's gonna be like perfect perfect like 60s cool Gloria Steinem Sexy. Women's feminist from the 60s. Yes, oh, I love it. Yeah, we did Chanel Couture, which kind of had its own identity. It was sort of an iconic look in itself. of like, let's say, flower child meets rave. For the Givenchy Sport, we just pulled some, you know, references that were more fashion based. Let's see how we do. And 
then for the 1940s, it's really about the starlets like Jean Tierney and Rita Hayworth and Betty Davis. They told me I can keep it, you know. <laughs> it's very German, not the South. <laughs> the work of Helmut Newton for fetish dominatrix because I think he was the master. about you know my career and you know like being that way like it's so amazing it's unbelievable I'm so so happy and so thankful and yeah it's like something like unbelievable when I think about it now it's like life changes so much and you never know what's gonna happen you know like you never know what's gonna come to you what's your next step what's you know what's the opportunities can bring you in life I mean the whole thing the shot and just like so beautiful from each story, from which character is like really amazing. So. I mean, this picture we shot right now for cover, that's definitely something like so iconic. And uh, I mean, each, each story we shot is like really like special and it's all different, it's all different styles. It's different uh, photographers, they have like different talents. So it's like, it's a different perspective and um, like, I don't know, I think on each story, each, each picture, I'm super happy because we, you know, I, I know it all. I've done it all. I want to thank everybody who's working for this issue with me and, uh, you know, like for such a great job, for such a, like amazing, huge, you know, project. And um, I'm so happy. I'm sure it's going to be like amazing results. I cannot wait to see a little sneak of it. So. Yeah, and uh, thanks for watching too. So that's the that's the real wrap now, and uh, we all done. And wow, so we did so much work and like such a little timing. It's like kind of like 
I have an anxiety now. <laughs> Cannot stop now too. <laughs> but anyway, thank you so much. It was such a like a lot of fun. Bye. Bye.